In the novel 1984, George Orwell described a world where televisions, called telescreens, also had cameras in them to spy on the viewers. Your computer, or even your mobile phone, has all the hardware to be turned into a spying device just like a telescreen. Modern computers are designed so that the user of the device has control over the programs that run on the machine. But sometimes others try to take control of your computer or phone. Malicious hackers have been doing this since, well, at least 1984. The term for remotely taking over control of a computer is owning or pwning it. Here's how to protect yourself against such an intimate violation of your privacy. The most common way your computer can get owned is if you get tricked into running a program. That can happen if you click on an email attachment that appears innocent, but is actually malicious. Malicious software is called malware. It can turn on your computer's microphones and broadcast your conversations. It can record your screen, watch what you type on your keyboard, copy files, and even insert false records. Malware is most often used for stealing passwords and identity theft, but it can be used for political purposes too. Activists opposing the government of Vietnam, Bahrain, Ethiopia, and other countries have received carefully crafted fake emails that took over their computers. China and the United States are also strongly suspected of using their own custom-made malware against users. So be very careful opening strange email attachments. One way to deal with a suspicious attachment from someone you know is to double check with them in person by phone, video chat, or instant message before you open it. You should also be cautious of clicking on suspicious web links. It's possible to infect a computer with malware remotely just by visiting a web page. If a link prompts you to install software, don't agree. And if your web browser or search engine warns you that a website might be malicious, hit that back button. A less common way that malware can own your computer is via USB or a Thunderbolt connector. By plugging in, attackers can copy over a malicious program or otherwise take control of your machine. The same goes for CDs and DVDs. This all may sound scary, but always remember that when it works correctly, your computer is designed to fend off these malware attacks. As long as we keep building computers so they are intended to be controlled by their owners, you'll have a chance to fight back against being owned. For more about malware and detecting remote attacks on your computer, check out the Electronic Frontier Foundation Surveillance Self-Defense.